audio jungle. Well, Libra, Libra rising and those with their moons in Libra, this Leo season, July 22nd to August 22nd is looking mighty fun for you. See all the energy of Leo, the sun is in your 11th house. This is one of my favorite houses, Libra. This is the house of opportunity. Now, most of the opportunity comes through other people, your friends, your networks, your organizations, people you affiliate with or choose to be around. In Chinese metaphysics, we call these noblemen, meaning that someone in your network is going to offer you some kind of advice, some kind of lead, some kind of cheat code, we'll say, to the video game of life. So keep an eye out for that. If you get invited to social events, network events, and so on, go to these events. It'll open new portals, new opportunities for you, Libra, during Leo season. Now, 11th house is not just about the people. It's your hopes, wishes, and dreams, meaning that it's a really good time to create that vision board or write down some goals or write down what you want or do a uh, do an oracle car card spread of what I want or, you know, how can I get there? What are my obstacles? You know what I mean? Like, how do we progress to the next level? There's a little bit of an abundance energy to the 11th house too, Libra, meaning that some money can trickle in from your um, career, your business from the, of the 10th house, trickling into your 11th house, okay? So watch for that. Now, it can be a little bit magical, like money falling from the sky, but it helps the universe if you meet the universe a little bit by doing some kind of little actions to show that you're serious. Meaning that if you get invited, go to the thing. Um, it's a good time to call a friend, you know? <laughs> Uh, 11th house is about your friends, networks, and opening up these new portals for you, Libra. Okay, now we got the full moon, July 21st in Capricorn. Now, this is an important full moon, not only because we just had a full moon last month in Capricorn, so this is two Capricorn full moons in a row, but this one is on an anoretic degree, the 29th degree. This is an important degree. It's showing extra ending energy. See, full moons are all about endings. So at the 29th degree, you're having the end of that house, right? The ending degree till it changes. So it's extra important. There's extra ending energy. Now for you, Libra, that's in your house, family, real estate, ancestor stuff. So what does this mean? Okay, so during the July 21st week of the full moon, okay, you could see some kind of endings or culmination of energy. Um, it could be the end of where you live, the literal end of the real estate plan. It could be the end of some renovations that you've been doing. You might have been doing some kitchen rentals and now they're finally done. It could be the end of something to do with the home. Like, let's say you've been working from home, Libra, and now you're ready to get back out there or something like that. It could be the end of working from home. In any case, it's this culmination of energy, uh, kind of the end of the chapter so that we can move on to the next thing. Uh, sometimes it can do with your parents. Uh, maybe maybe they, they can't live in their home anymore because they're getting too old. Like for example, I'm 46 years old and my parents are still at home on the farm in their late seventies. But you know, eventually there's gonna come a time where maybe they're gonna need extra home care maybe, you know, home, fourth house. So there's just a bunch of stuff like that. So at least you can be prepared about what you need to do there. Um, it could be where you, you need the end of your home because you've been trying to sell it. Finally, you sell the home. The end of that home, end of the real estate. So watch for those endings anyways in, in July 21st there that week. Okay, now, besides all this friendship and network energy and popularity and all that and hopes, wishes and dreams. Okay, now we got Mercury and Venus, two important planets that I look at every month, Mercury, is our way we talk, our communications, our branding, our marketing, you know, speech, communication, also the way we think. So Mercury is in the 12th house with Venus. Venus is our love, our money, our luxury items, you know, Venus. It could be money too. These are both in the 12th house, meaning that 
Okay, if, if it's a money issue, it could be, the 12th house hides things inside of it. There's a lot of stuff going on with the 12th house, so let me just explain. 12th house could mean you're hiding your money, you're hiding your intellect, you're hiding because you're retreating away from the world in a way. It could be that you need a lot of alone time, even though all this energy of the 11th house of people, it's trying to get you out there. But you have to learn how to balance Libra the 12th house retreat, sit still energy, meditation, spiritual energy. You got to learn to balance that with the going out, meeting new people, getting new networks to up level the video game. So how do we balance that? Okay. The 12th house is a lot about your mental health too. You might be working on old trauma, for example, seeing a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a therapist, uh, working on your spiritual health in some way. Um, that can happen in the 12th house too. So there's an outward yang energy mixed with this inner energy too. So it's quite interesting. So you have to find the way to balance it. Now, you might balance it by going on a trip, a long distance trip, holiday. I'll tell you why. Because Mars, our action planet, where we take action, Mars is like Apollo and it's feisty, okay? Fiery, feisty, Mars is in your ninth house with Jupiter who brings expansion there too. So, wow, there's a lot of stuff happening in the ninth house for you. Ninth house is about publishing. This could be the time where you're finally getting that book done. In the You're, you're, you're hanging out in the 12th house alone, a little bit retreating, getting that book finished, getting those Oracle cards done because the ninth house is for publishing. If there's never been a good time this year for you, Libra, to publish that book, publish the music, publish the poetry, publish the oracle cards, publish your works and writings, this is the time. Because the ninth house is all about publishing. The ninth house is all about foreign affairs as well. It could be because the groups and organizations of the 11th house we talked about at the beginning of this video, these new networks could be overseas networks, could be foreign affairs networks expanding your business internationally or getting in touch on zoom and lives and more with the technology with these other people all over the world could be a case of taking a trip which expands the mind in the ninth house taking a travel trip always expands us right because the ninth house is about expansion in some way and jupiter loves the ninth house and it expands already so there's a lot of stuff going on this could be a spiritual expansion for you too libra because of that 12th house spiritual energy mixed with the ninth house expansion and belief system energy. I wouldn't be surprised, Libra, if you are deciding to switch religions, to explore other kinds of belief systems about our reality. Maybe you're interested in simulation theory. I've got a playlist on my YouTube channel about that. It's all sorts of stuff about expanding the mind into more than just this 3D uh, five senses that we have here, right? It's There's a lot going on for you, Libra. You need to come see me for a reading and really get down to the bottom of it. Okay, so let's look at your cards. All right, we'll start with the power of eight. Speaking of publishing of the ninth house, these are our cards. The power of eight chakra Lenormand and also our original power of eight chakra Oracle. So we'll be working with these. Uh, when you open the boxes, like a little book, you've got your chakra charts inside both of these and you also have a little affirmation everything always works out for me so any time labor that you're feeling oh my god what's the word <laughs> just look at this everything always works out for me and say it out loud me and michelle the authors of you know the makers of this there's me and michelle we always say that you know to each other everything always works out for us everything always works out you know what i mean make a song embody it Okay, Libra, let's see. I'll knock three times to get off the energy and let's see what's happening for you during Leo season. And remember, the key lies in the 11th house of the people and your hopes, wishes, and dreams. And yes, maybe it's been a crossing pain in the butt for you, right? The crossing pain in the butt to get to the end, a burden almost. It's been a road maybe. And now, the tides are shifting for you, Libra. Uh, the burden and the pain that you've been maybe going through, pain in the butt energy, <laughs> is uh, lifting here for you. And that it happens through the people and it happens through exploration, going on a trip, um, getting out more, but also becoming more spiritual and doing more meditation, listening to solfeggio music. But 
the public this is what came up you know the pain of the public the pain can be reduced by going on the public you know there's secrets to be revealed in the public in a good way for you solutions let's say to uh overcoming the pain in the butt energy you've had right with the crossing card so people are your key it's coming up again with the public card the garden okay it's the garden because in the past you know in the olden days we used to gather in the garden to talk about our problems to talk about our uh, gossip and whatever there was no social media back then we would gather in the garden and have tea together you know and um so your secret lies with the people the noblemen in your life who can give you cheat codes so let's look at the original power of eight chakra oracle when you buy our cards they come as a set too i i don't like just selling one i like selling them together as a set because they work together as a set what do we need to know for libra during leo's season what stuff i am zen and this is very 12th house energy of spirituality having a retreat how do we balance that public energy with the zen right you know, being Zen. I am Zen. Say that to yourself, Libra, all the time. Do Zen things. You know, if we look at the book at this card, I am Zen. Okay, number 39. Three plus nine equals 12. One plus two equals three. So you further reduce it to three, which is a people energy too. Merging, blending, growth, the three in numerology. Uh, people come again in as, as your cheat code this, this uh, Leo season, Libra. The people are your friend here. Now, 39, let's look. What could we say? I am Zen. Okay, our books come in color, of course, because we don't cheap out. <laughs> All right, and the word Zen means that being at peace with your own thoughts and your own intuition. The feeling of Zen is light, free, and calm, Libra. How to achieve your Zen? Well, find quiet time and meditate. That's very 12th house energy. And remember, Libra, that was where Mercury, the thought planet and thinking stuff, and Venus, what you love, is happening in the 12th house. So yes, find quiet time and meditate. Choose work that you love. And we talked about that. Clear your environment of clutter and live more simply. Choose your relationships wisely. Stay away from drama. Right, Libra? Enjoy yourself in healthy ways and be present in the moment. Don't focus so much on the past or the future. Focus on the now. That's very zen. All right. And if you'd like your own personal private reading with me, Libra, come see me at www.themoontree.org. Helping you navigate life's energies. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.